Is the United States prepared to go to war with Iranian-backed Houthi militants? After launching Operation Prosperity Guardian back in December, problems continue to escalate for the U.S. and its allies in the Red Sea. Houthi rebels launched another attack Thursday, this time using an unmanned surface vessel to target U.S. Navy and commercial vessels. The U.S. V detonated within international shipping lanes, clearly with the intent to do harm, according to Vice Admiral Brad Cooper, commander of U.S. Naval Forces Central Command. The attack comes one day after the U.S., along with 43 other countries, including Canada, Germany, Italy, Japan, and the United Kingdom, sent a final warning to the Houthis against further attacks, saying, Let our message now be clear. We call for the immediate end of these illegal attacks and release of unlawfully detained vessels and crews. The Houthis will bear the responsibility of the consequences should they continue to threaten lives, the global economy, and free flow of commerce in the region's critical waterways. Since November, the Houthis have launched more than two dozen attacks on shipping and naval vessels in the Red Sea to show their solidarity with Hamas terrorists in their war with Israel. At the end of December, Houthi rebels used speedboats and missiles to attack a ship operated by Danish shipping company Maersk, but were unsuccessful as the United States Navy deployed helicopters equipped with machine guns that ultimately sunk three Houthi boats and killed 10 Houthi rebels. The Houthi attacks are unacceptable and they threaten not just the uh, commercial interest, the direct commercial interests that are involved, the ship and the crew, on the ships and the crews on those ships, but also the regional, regional economy and the world economy. When you see attacks on commercial shipping, a great deal of which goes through the Red Sea and a great deal of which has been diverted now to, to longer and more costly routes. About 12% of global trade and 30% of the world's container shipping passes through the Red Sea, meaning Billions of dollars of goods will now be forced to transit another route. Maersk has suspended operations in the Red Sea indefinitely, saying it will redirect ships around Africa and the Cape of Good Hope until further notice. This means you're going to be paying more for goods. Rerouting vessels around Africa adds two to four weeks to a round-trip voyage, and the longer travel time means containers carrying spring and summer supplies such as clothing, patio furniture and home and garden products will be late arriving to their final destinations and then the ships are going to take even longer to get back to Asia and reload. Secretary of State Antony Blinken will depart for the Middle East this week, his fourth trip to the region since the start of the Israel-Hamas war in October. Blinken's focus will remain on de-escalating the conflict, helping to free hostages in Hamas captivity and providing humanitarian aid to Gaza.